Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to cover how to calculate average velocity. In simple terms, velocity is speed in a particular direction. Here are several examples. Velocity is a vector because it measures magnitude and direction. If you're familiar with the speed triangle of distance, speed, and time, then you can easily calculate average velocity, but it includes a direction. Here's the formula for velocity. The V represents velocity, and the arrow above tells you that it is a vector, which mag measures magnitude and direction. The S equals displacement, and it also is a vector, and it measures the distance and direction, and the t equals a change in time. Let's work an example problem. A man rides his bike 90 kilometers in three hours towards the beach, which is east from his house. Calculate the average velocity. The velocity equals the distance and direction and equals 9 kilometers, excuse me, 90 kilometers east, and the time equals three hours. Divide these and the velocity equals 30 kilometers per hour east. Next he rides his bike 60 kilometers back home which is west and stops for lunch after two hours. What is his average velocity? Remember velocity is a measure of displacement and it involves distance and directions. So velocity would equal 60 kilometers west divided by the change in time which is two hours so the average velocity equals 30 kilometers per hour west. I hope this introduction to average velocity helps and thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.